Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. In today's video update here, we're going to go over Terra or Luna. So Terra right now is trading at a dollar and 60 cents. 24 hour volume, we are up 25.40% and market cap, we are down 1.97%. So heading over to the chart here, immediate short term for two hours, we're going to take a look at our RSI, which is a good opportunity right now for me personally. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor, but if we take a look at the RSI itself, we do see the initial crossover from the previous candle and this candle right now. So from what I am seeing, I am most likely going to wait until this candle does close off and then initiate the actual crossover because sometimes what we do see is that it expands after the fact that this hour has finished. So we always want to make sure we do close off in the intervals of candles that we are seeing. But what we can see is essentially it is going to cross over either in this candlestick or the next candlestick itself. So we are considered to be oversold, which is a buying opportunity right near the area that provided a lot of trades here. So a dollar and 61 cents to a dollar and 60 essentially provided more trades as we are climbing up the ranks here here for this reversal from our area of support of $1.57. Um, we are going to come back up and retest our 20 MA roughly around the $1.62 depending on how fast or how strong this current is of our MACD line. If you take a look here, we've got one and two bars so far, anticipating the gap itself gets bigger, then we may actually get rejected from this top up here at $1.64 and then come back down and retest our area. If we take a look at our golden number of 61% of our FIB, we can see multiple areas of our candlestick wicks earlier in on August 27th retested this area of support. So if we get rejected from this line here at $1.64, this is going to be an area of confluence to see if we can be able to um, hold support. Take a look at how many times we were hitting support and then finally broke through all the way down into the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So we can see the Bollinger Bands are reacting, they're squeezing in. So initially there is going to be a breakout either on an uptrend, we need to wait until we close above the 20 MA, or a breakout in the downtrend. And that's going to be losing our support area roughly around the dollar and 57 cents. So that's my update here for Terra or Luna, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.